Well, welcome friends and uh, this particular video is going to show you how I use gouache or opaque watercolour in my paintings. Now because I want to do a fairly detailed scene I'm working on a smaller size than I very often do because I find that with gouache this works well and I'm basing this on a photograph that's on uh, the new website which is www.paintmyphoto.ning.com it's a Ning site, social site where people upload photographs that you can paint from because they give you permission to do that. Now, um, the size I've masked off, I'm using 140 pound watercolour paper and I've masked off an 8 by 6 size and I'm only using two colours because uh, the photo I'm basing it on is in monochrome and I'm only using burnt sienna designer colour or gouache and ultramarine blue. So it's burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. Now, what you'll see that I'm doing is that I've laid in very quickly the sky. I've also laid in using uh, one of my rough brushes, or in fact, I use a bristle brush, which is uh, a bristle brush, which is a fan brush. Now, I'm looking at this using Sim Trace. Look that up on my videos if you're not sure what it is. And this is just a time lapse of, of from the webcam, so the quality is not brilliant, but at least you can see what I'm doing. Um, now I'm just doing the clay windmill here using a uh, small zero brush and using the paint quite thinly and you probably saw uh, once again I dry it's very important to do the dry in between sections as you paint it I was drying it using my uh, chef's blowtorch again you've got to be very careful that you don't burn the paper <laughs> um, it works very well dries it off and then you can over paint now the thing with gouache, you, use the, you can use the same techniques as I show you when I'm using acrylic paint. But of course the big difference is, uh, is that if you wet the paper, it'll re-wet and the paint will move around again. So like a lot of things with uh, different painted media, you take advantage of those things that the paint does. And as I say, in this case, that you can re-wet it and move it. And on those clouds, it was great for those clouds because you can move the paint around. And because it's, uh, you know, it goes a very thin paint, you can do details nicely and quickly like I've done here. Now I'm just really quickly putting in some of the shrubs and bushes and I'm using the bristle fan brush. And I, and I use the kind of brushes that you would normally expect to use with oil painting, but I use it with the uh, paint gouache. Just um, another way of putting the paint on. And you'll notice that if you mix the sienna, the burnt sienna, with the ultramarine blue, you get a dark colour. So although there's only two colours in there, as I've talked about before, you can actually give the appearance that there's a lot more colour, colour sometimes. The It's a good way to practice using just two colours, because if you get the um, if you get the tones and shades right, colour follows naturally after that. A lot of paintings look too wishy-washy and light. Okay, now you'll see here that I'm just looking over the scene and bringing down bits and bobs using the fine brush. And now when I remove the masking tape, you see the finished picture. And here's a uh, still photograph of the finished painting. And as I say, you can see lots of other photos to paint from on uh, www.paintmyphoto.ning.com. Thanks for watching again. Bye for now.